Hello, welcome. My name is Shaquille Feldbaum, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the overall everything that's basically ready for the car mechanically, at least. Um, yeah, that I got up to this point so far. So, well, as the suspension now fully is operational, so everything can go up and down, and because it is an in wheel electric motor the actual center of the wheel will stay stationary so uh, I can show that by showcasing the motor itself so um, let let that open up but here you can see like we have the actual the same situation you would have in a suspension upright that is actually sitting on the inside of the wheel so this will always stay stationary and then the outside of the rim will actually be able to rotate and that is also because of everything that is on the internals of this thing so uh, I can also show you guys a little bit of that. So here you would have like an, the inner part of the electric motor with actual the copper wires and the stator and everything and then here you would have the rotator uh, going around it with the permanent magnets and everything and that is kind of how you would integrate an electric motor within the wheel and then if, as I said because it is stationary all the suspension components will actually be bolted to directly to the inside so there isn't a brake caliper because the braking would be done throughout uh, the electric motor there isn't like a, a prop shaft or anything going from the center of the car towards the outside so what that possibility also gives is that the complete cabin of the car will remain open so uh as you can see here with the carbon fiber monocoque and everything there's no motor in there there's no um differential there's no gearbox anything needed to propel the car forward the only thing we have here in the seating area are uh, that these lobes are going to be the battery packs individually for the car so you would have battery packs in the floor electric motors in here and that would be the only thing necessary to propel this car as i said this car will not be able to be um, uh, basically made today so uh, it is based on a 2004 deficient concept of where I think technology will be uh, at, at that point and what would be possible with the technology that we have uh, and that is kind of where this car comes in also one thing that I'm still need to make but that I already made some um, I don't know it's some kind of precursor steps to I guess is that on this lobe right here will actually be the attachment for the uh, electrically adjustable uh, suspension I should say so in this area the car will sit actual electric motors that will be able to with a rod attached to that top wishbone you will be able to uh, adjust the ride height and also uh, cope with like a lot of dampening and stuff like that for um, the actual car so you would have like a sensor on, on the road um you would basically have like a sensor in front of the car that is kind of reading the road ahead that is with lasers or lidar or whatever type of radar would actually function you would be able to uh see if there's a bump coming up in the road and then adjust the ride height accordingly or if their car if the car is stir uh is, my bad if the car is steering you would actually be able to um have like an anti-roll bar mechanism but mechanic is not mechanically but electronically so the outside wheels that would actually be lifted up from the ground you'll be able to push them down and keep the car level or even let the car lean into a corner instead of kind of going the opposite direction so those are just some tips and tricks that you could do with like a fully electronically adjustable suspension steering and everything and then the last part of the video that I wanted to get in there, I don't really have a lot of time, so maybe it sounds, seems like I'm rushing, but I can't really, um, I got a couple of things to do today. So, um, but I wanted to get a video out. So, uh, the last thing that I actually also wanted to do, uh, and then I wanted to showcase was that with this, the pinion and rec gear and everything, you can steer both of the wheels. But also what I did is that this whole mechanism of the steering rack will not be solidly mounted to the monocoque. So it will be put on rails just like they have in the Formula 1 car from Mercedes. So they, they have the dual axis steering where they can push and pull on the wheel to actually adjust the caster angle of how much the, of a degree the wheels are actually turning towards each other. And that will improve um, cornering because you can optimize in which direction the wheel is pointing in a turn. And then in a straight line, you can have uh, the least amount of uh, rolling resistance because the wheels are pointing straight instead of in a corner that would be optimal for cornering. So um, you would be actually be able to push and pull um, this steering rack and you can see the wheels actually turning in towards each other as much as is coming forward so here you would have like a pretty extreme caster angle and this would be way too much so i still need to dial in all the lengths and everything and see and figure out how that will work but you would see the wheels actually pointing in one direction but then you can still steer to make it either go 
in whatever direction you want to so that is also fully adjustable and because i also put the steering rack in a position where uh it is actually exiting from the center of the monocoque and not towards the right or towards the left and with like a little bit of a gear linkage you will be able to then also put the uh, steering wheel on either the left or the right side of the car depending on in which region you're driving so the car wouldn't need no adjustment for uh, whatever market it would be uh, built in because the whole thing is complete symmetry so um that is also something that i need to configure in uh the dashboard and everything so that is also something that i'm thinking about um things that i've planned for the interior i'm gonna leave that for when i'm actually working on it because that is also pretty special may i say so myself but um that is kind of what i wanted to showcase for now and what i kind of been working on and you can see here there's still some stuff that i need to adjust because these things are penetrating each other where they shouldn't be able to so um it's not perfect at this point for sure but i'm uh, it's a work in progress so you have to summarize everything you have four wheel steering uh you have four wheel electric in wheel electric motors that you can adjust and everything so you also have a four wheel torque factoring so you could have the outside wheels in a turn kind of put more power down to the ground than the inside to have like a, some sort of a, a tank track um type of steering motion already in the car and then also add steering lock to it and then you could also have rear wheel steering to either uh, shorten the wheel um the actual turning radius i should say or to help with stability when the car is trying to go sideways or in whatever type of situation so that is um also then linked to a four wheel individually operated mechanical um mechanical electrical suspension that can adjust the ride height giving to whatever such set settings or situations you would have um in turning or with bumps and also with stiffness how hard you want the ride to be or how comfortable you want the ride to be fully adjustable everything to kind of get the car to exactly the sweet spot of where the driver would like it to be so those are just uh, a lot of the things that i've been working on and as soon as you push the whole thing back you see that the car with the wheels were kind of you know, going to the same direction and everything so um that is basically everything that I've been working on with the suspension and with these electric motors and what I thought would be possible with this technology because it is just crazy that you could fit four people in a car like this and usually you would have to have like um, a, still a motor in the back, you would still have to have a differential, uh, some other gears and stuff so to be able to fit four adult people, the headroom here is a little bit tight may I add but you would be able to uh, you know fits a couple more people than you usually would so this project is turning out to be whatever i kind of jumped off it to be and also if you just have a look at how the suspension components look not being attached to an upright but actually attached to the wheel itself in my opinion this is kind of looking like engineering jewelry right now so i am really like i'm really liking where this project is going and i can't like wait um to actually get like the doors opening up and everything and i'm also learning how to animate with cinema 4d and stuff like that so i can actually make some, some crazy videos out of this too so um that is gonna be it for this video thank you for watching uh please leave a like or subscribe to this youtube channel i think i only need like 160 something youtube uh subscribers again to also be able to monetize these youtube videos so that would really help out and um yeah that is basically everything that i wanted to mention and thank you for watching and please also check out the next video i'm shakir feldbaum i'm out